Hello, this is game four of my match against Game Two, the D Division Championships. Got goons. Goons is usually pretty good. Uh, thinning with monastery. Draw with sheepdog, embassy, lost city, villages with villa, lost city. Um, Silk Road for extra VP if you need it. There's also palace and way of the pig. So you want to get goons. You also want to get thin. How do you like fight those two? Those two constraints. Um, it doesn't seem unreasonable to me to open like sheepdog, silver, conspirator silver, even then pick up a villa a little bit, pick up a monastery a little bit later. Uh, the monastery is only going to trash one card most of these early turns, but man, it's nice to it's nice to trash those cards. Um, so the hit six most likely would be silver conspirator. So I'm going to go for that. Um, if I have a weird turn where I can pick up a monastery, I can. Um, you can also pig the conspirator if necessary. I can actually believe conspirator. Okay, so they got the monastery, sheepdog. They're going to hit six with that somehow if I buy a lost city here. So I'm going to buy an embassy. They might hit six with it anyhow. Uh, Let's see if they play the sheepdog here. They gain another sheepdog. Okay, so I've got the embassy, which is nice. I'm considering getting like a villa and a monastery here. There's my buys. Um, I can use the... Also worth noting is you could pig the villa. They got a villa. And are they going to be able to trash here? Not quite sure what they're doing. Getting another monastery? Or something you could do villas, you could play it as pig, which is nice. Um, I don't really understand why they bought that villa there. I'm going to get a second embassy or a crypt. Uh, second embassy. Ah, oh, that was quite nice for them. So I bottom decked everything. I bottom decked my embassy. I bottom decked my villa. I bottom decked my monastery. I guess I bottom decked them all together. So that's nice that they're together. You can also draw with the sheepdog during your buy phase. Like when you gain the villa, you can draw with the sheepdog react. So there's some neat interactions there. Um. They don't have a goons yet. They don't have any embassies. So I feel okay about this game now. Still, I guess not now. Um, the question is if they hit goons here, um, that could potentially be a problem for me. I also, in theory, they're going to be able to get some trashing in this turn, which is nice. They did get the goons. Okay. So, uh, discard three. Play the conspirator. Play the embassy. Discard three coppers. This is a terrible shuffle to trigger. What's in that shuffle? Three coppers. So let me think about this. Yeah, I mean, I think I need to... So I can discard the sheepdog. I can also play the sheepdog as a pig when I gain a goons. So what's the plan? If I discard three coppers, I've got six money. I play the gain the villa, buy the villa. Play the sheep. That last card is another estate. So then I'll have three money. I can buy another sheepdog and monastery. And monastery two estates. But I'll only have three money. So I gain another sheepdog. It's going to be really tough for me to draw. So if I just want to get play six, I can discard two coppers in an estate. Yeah, so I can buy the goons. I can pig the sheepdog. Um, and how many cards? I only gained one card. So I can buy a copper and then trash two estates. It was a little bit like I'm spinning there, but we'll see.
So what am I going to do here? I can play the sheepdog for draw. And then if I find something, then play the yellow for draw after that. Okay, so that's good. Buy a villa, play the villa, play the conspirator, play the embassy. Discard three. Embassy, discard three. That's fine. Buy the villa, play villa, villa, get the goons attack in. And I'm going to need more draw, so I think I want that lost city now. And I can trash three coppers. Oh, do I want to... I want to go back to the beginning of my buy phase. Um, so I can trash three coppers, but I get an extra VP if I buy a fourth copper. So I can... Normally that would just be spinning, but here it's actually worth a VP to do it, and I can trash the coppers in play. So that, that turn went really, really well for me. Um, and they haven't seen their goons yet this shuffle, which is unfortunate for them. This card three. I'm going to be able to draw back to these, so... Um, play that. Play that. Um... Hmm. Unfortunately, this is kind of a sad embassy here. I can just toss the three, not, not get any trashes in this turn, which is probably fine. And I'm going to have some amount of money. Yeah, so I can get this, like, another goons. Um, I can get another goons and a something else, or I think... Probably I just want more cities, so like a lost city and another conspirator. Um, that'll give me a little bit more draw, and ideally I play the embassies first, and then use the lost city as a conspirator to draw the last three cards back. So, lost city, conspirator, and buys. Note, I did not have the, um, I did not have the goods in play, so, or I did not have the monastery in my hand, so it didn't make sense to Okay, I'm not going to draw the silver. I um, guess I'm going to get rid of the goons and hope that I find it again. No. I should be able to find it again. I should, I should be able to find it again, but the villa I don't think helps me find it again that much more. Okay. So they got a lost city. One, two, three... Play the Conspirator, play the Lost City. Okay, so now I can play the Embassy. Discard three. Sheepdog, Conspirator. Okay, I've made a terrible shuffle. Uh, what is in that shuffle? Whatever it is, it's quite terrible. Um, do I have another sheepdog? Do I have another conspirator? Do I have another lost city? Is it my estate and a couple of coppers? Uh, well, I'm always going to play the goons here. So I think I'm going to do something a little bit weird, which is buy a villa and pig it. To just churn my way through this. Um, so now I've got 11. I think I'm going to do the same thing again. No, I really want to get goons now. So I can get like a goons and a conspirator, like a goons in a lost city. Uh, it does draw them one and buys and trash. Uh, I'm not going to do the undo again, uh, but I could have bought one more copper there. Okay, I had villas down there, which is not, not terrible. I can um, play these villas as pigs to try to find. But I think the thing I did there with buying a villa was right, because I, I do need to churn my way through this deck um, to make sure I don't, I'm not left with these bad shuffles. I should have counted before I played the Embassy that turn. Um, and I also left one VP chip on the table by not buying a copper there. So let me... So they've got 12. 
goons and conspirator. Okay. And they're able to trash a couple. Okay, so this worked out. Found stuff to trash. Uh, I'm gonna play the sheepdog first. Okay, Lost City. Um, city. See, so I have three cards of draw in this deck. Okay, well, I can do it this way. Okay, so now I have tricks that I can do. What are my tricks? Well, I can play the goons first. Play them both. Okay, so now I can buy a goons. I can buy a goons and villa it back to my and villa, draw it with the pig. So I could buy like conspirator goons. Something like that, 12. Yeah, like Conspirator Goons. Um, and play the Goons this time, which seems pretty strong. Um, how do I dud if I don't draw a Lost City uh, or a Villa before I draw like an Embassy and the Villas run out? I think I should be okay. I'm going to trash everything but the, the Silver here. Okay, so I'm going to buy Goons Conspirator. Um, so Goons, Conspirator, Villa is going to be my draw. Oh, no, just Goons, Villa. And then I can play a Villa as a pig. So I could do the whole trick again, but that seems somewhat counterproductive, because I really just want to get another Lost City now. Um, and be happy that I'm thin. I have more Lost Cities, more Villas, more Goons. I feel pretty, pretty good about my spot now. Um, I've also got a lot of VP chips. I don't feel good enough that I'm going to buy random coppers to get more VP, but, you know, the piles are running, Villas are running, Lost Cities are running. So, um, Goons may run, or Conspirators, or Sheepdogs may run, or we may just start in on green cards. They have an unfortunate turn. I, I note they don't have any embassies. I have both embassies, so their draw is quite a bit, quite a bit worse than mine. Um, they're getting coppers, which makes sense. You could go and play. So I added more stop cards to my deck last turn. I should note I'm probably going to end up playing some of these villas as pigs. How many of them? I'm not sure. I guess we can see now how many I need to play as pigs. Maybe not as many as I thought, just one. Okay, so again, I have tricks that I can do. I can play two villas and three goons. And then figure out my tricks. Okay. So I've got 14, so I can go like Goons, Conspirator, Villa. I guess the way I dealt is not at all, because I have pigs, I can just pig whatever the worst action card in my deck is. Um, and as long as I only have two non-action cards, I'm safe. So I can go Goons, Conspirator, Villa, Pig or Villa, Conspirator, Goons, and... Um, I will have seven money here, which I think is just Villa and Conspirator. That will completely shut them out of any more Villa tricks from themselves. And I've got a 22 point VP lead, so I feel pretty good about my spot. It's going to be quite tough for them to get as many goons into play as they would like. And I'm going to be able to pile out, um, lower the Conspirators and then lower the Lost Cities. And end the game that way. I added in one goons there, a couple villas. So again, I'm probably gonna need to pig some amount of these villas to prevent dying, but that's okay. They have served their purpose of getting me a bunch of view points and being able to gain and play goons.
We have a lost city, an embassy. Um, discard those. And yeah, we're seeing the the pig stuff already. Conspirators are safe to play. Lost cities are safe to play. Okay, this is fine. I can actually pig these so I can draw them. I'm not sure why, but okay, so there's no gain and play tricks, so there's no reason not to just play everything now. I'm quite close to a pile out here, but not quite quite close enough. Um, so I have four goons now. They have four goons, so they've got four buys. They've got five buys. No, they they could have as, in theory almost as many buys as I have. Um, one, two. I just don't want to leave a pile out available for them. So I have eight villas and four goons. So they've only got two villas. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, eight. Yeah, so they've got two villas and four goons. So they potentially have seven buys. Um, so there's a question of do I need to like take something that scores here? Um, I don't want to leave open like an estate pile out or something like that. But with with 22 money, um, with 22 money, I can I can grab some some random cards here. So what do I want to grab? Um, so actually the pile out here only costs 27. So the thing is with four goons, I can buy a whole bunch of extra coppers. Right? How many extra coppers can you buy? Um, so they've got four goons, two villas. So they've got seven buys. So they can, by gaining extra coppers, get get five VP, uh, uh, four VP apiece for some number of coppers. So like they could gain sixteen VP on me with getting coppers. Let them know that I'm I'm thinking. Um, so if I lower the piles too much. They also don't have like any conspirators. They've got a lot less money than me. Um, and I played a bunch of villas as money. So I have four, eight. So they have significantly less money than me. Um, so if I get like conspirator, um, if I get like lost city, double conspirator, um, I don't think I'm leaving a pile open for them. I can also get like some more embassies. I can also get like a farmland. Um, to turn this monastery into the conspirator. That seems pretty, actually pretty strictly nice. Exchange a dead card for a dead card, not worry about the pile. So I will gain one conspirator there. That's four VP. Um, there's not like innocuous actions I can gain that don't lower the piles, unfortunately. Um, I think I can safely get one lost city and then a pile out costs 10, 22 which seems pretty difficult for them to do. Um, so again, I have two dead cards now, silver and farmland. Um, so I'm, I'm just <laughs> trying not to completely screw this up. Um, but I think like Lost City, Embassy, Embassy should be safe. I don't think they can make up that points. Um, I don't think they can make up the points they have with seven buys, even if they gain buy seven cards, that's 28 points, and they have to have that pile as well, which is 10, 26, or 22. God, maybe I just can't buy anything else. This is, this is quite difficult. All the relevant piles are low. Um, so it's uh, giving them an extra silver seems dangerous, but it's also an extra points for me, so I don't know. Um, yeah. I lost again like this a few weeks ago where I'm like, oh, I'm ahead, I'm ahead, I'm ahead, and then they just piled out lost cities and goons and bought like four coppers and beaten them points. Um, I'm ahead right now by 34 points. So the way they get to 34 points is four goons in play, they have seven buys, so that's only 28. So I think I think that's safe. I think I probably could have just gone and bought all the conspirators, to be honest, and they can't make up for that amount of VP. 
Um, I'm I'm struggling though. Um, and the embassy gives them extra silvers, so it adds more money to them. It uh, it's difficult. I should have an easy win this turn if they don't just beat me here. We'll see how much money they have. 18. So they can pile Lost Cities and Conspirators. Uh, no, they've only got five buys. They had to pig a villa at the beginning of the turn. So um, they don't have enough money for Lost Cities and Coons, so they don't have a pile out here. So I am safe. Um, if they played that villa as a plus buy and were still able to draw, then they could have piled out, but they're short on money. You know, they would have 19 money then and six buys. So it looks like I was safe no matter what. Um, yeah, you really have to track how many cards they have. And I have almost all the good cards here. I have all the villas, all the embassies, all the lost cities, pretty much. They've got a couple lost cities. Most of the conspirators and most of the villas are mine. And then I think I have all the embassies. So there's not really like a decent line for them to take. And again, I only have two stop cards in my whole deck. So I cannot dud. Um, I can have some annoying turnover stuff, but I cannot dud. Yeah, that makes some sense. They're going for palace point. Well, it makes, I mean, it makes as much sense as anything you're going for palace points and it adds payload. Um, yeah, it, it just seems tough. I'm going to be able to buy two lost cities and two goons here pretty easily. And I don't even need to score points to win. So, as long as I don't make like a, a very bad play or decision, I should be fine here. I'll lead on all the draw cards. Okay. Just don't want to discard the embassy. Okay, so now I can discard three, draw it all back up. Count my money, but it seems like it'll be more than enough. Yeah, I just need um, 22. So I can just buy two lost cities. And then uh, I could buy eight. I have three piles I could go to. Uh, but I've got a VP lead, and that's three piles. So good game. Uh, and that is game four. Um, so it's tied two to two after four games. Um, I will see you all in game five.